Daniel Abed Khalif. Police share CCTV of van used in prison escape Daniel Khalif was obsessed with the SAS and often went on lone survival weekends, a former army pal has claimed. The ex-soldier told the Daily Mirror, when we did a survival course he really excelled at it. He would disappear at the weekend with a few bits of camping gear, spending the night out in the open. The source, who trained with Khalif in Rhino Troop, 2 Squadron, 11 Signals Regiment, at Blandford Camp, Dorset, added. He really thought that one day he would get into the SAS, using what he learned in training. That was his dream, and he was always saying he was Middle Eastern and was even trying to learn Farsi from a language learning app. Police have released CCTV footage of the food Van Khalif used to escape. Image, Met Police. Another military source said. He was always pulling pranks and had to be the center of attention. Which is ironic now because he appears to be Britain's most wanted man. It comes as Met Police Commander Dominic Murphy said a man fitting the terror suspect's description was seen walking away from a van he is suspected of hiding under after his escape from Hump Wandsworth. The Bidfood vehicle stopped near the south entrance to Wandsworth Roundabout, about a mile from the South London Jail. Mr. Murphy said. My message to him is to hand yourself in. Either call us or go to a local police station and hand yourself in. Police are offering a £20,000 reward for anyone with information that leads to the arrest of the former soldier after his escape on Wednesday. Mr. Murphy said. With the reward we are offering and the amazing support we have had from the public and the media, we will be closing in on you, Daniel. You really need to come in and give yourself up. Mr. Murphy added. The sighting could be very significant, and this is one of many useful lines of inquiry officers are pursuing. The fugitive, 21, was reportedly last seen walking towards Wandsworth Town Center. He is accused of trying to spy for an enemy state, understood to be Iran, and plotting a fake bomb hoax. Detectives suspect Khalif is using survival and counter-surveillance skills learned with 16 Signal Regiment whose motto is find a way or make one, to avoid detection. He is believed to have left the prison kitchen in a cook's uniform. The Met released pictures of the outfit, including red and white striped trousers, a white t-shirt and brown shoes. Mr. Murphy denied the force had little to go on. He said, we're working on lots of leads, over 100 calls from the public. He said he remained open-minded on whether Khalif had fled the country but said the search is focused on London and other parts of the UK, with support from the border force. The Met has also opened its UK image appeal website. Met Chief Sir Mark Rowley said the escape was clearly pre-planned and confirmed his officers are investigating whether Khalif acted alone or had help. That includes people from the outside, prisoners or corrupt guard staff. Sir Mark added. It's extremely concerning he's back on the loose. This is a massive operation, well into three figures of officers. Helicopters searched Richmond Park, in southwest London, when it was closed on Thursday night, with heat-sensing cameras. Khalif is thought to have strapped himself to the bottom of the van at 7.32 a.m. on Wednesday. Prison staff realized he was missing at 7.50 a.m. but did not tell police until 8.15 a.m. after a search. When officers stopped the delivery van at 8.37 a.m. on Upper Richmond Road in Putney, there was no sign of Khalif, just straps. Justice Secretary Alex Chalk said an independent investigation will take place into the escape. 